Hi everyone, welcome to Port Canaveral, Florida. Join us as we embark on a seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise on the Disney fantasy. We are an Aussie family on holidays here in the US. You might like to check out our previous video of my overnight Amtrak journey from New York City to Orlando, which is linked below. We are so excited for this cruise, so let's get checked in. We're all checked in and we're ready to walk through those Mickey ears. This is Cove Cafe, which is located in the adults only area on deck 11. They offer espresso and specialty coffees for an additional charge. And believe me when I say, I will be here every single day. You'll access your stateroom key above the door in a sealed envelope. Let's take a quick look around the room. This is a balcony stateroom on deck eight and sleeps four people. One of the great features of the Disney ships are the dual bathrooms. This first room has a toilet and a sink with some good storage options. The second bathroom contains the main vanity and sink alongside a shower that sits over the bathtub. The couch transforms into a bed and a bunk bed comes down from the ceiling. The stateroom attendant sets up these beds in the early evening. There are two wardrobes to store clothes and plenty of cupboards and drawers for everyone to put their clothes away for the duration of the cruise. Prior to your cruise, you can order food and drink items to be delivered to your room on the morning of your cruise. The room also has a bar fridge. It's time for our first dinner. Disney have rotational dining and this is the first of three restaurants that we will experience. This is Royal Court themed from Cinderella and is a French styled restaurant. The dining team will come with us to each restaurant which is another great Disney touch.
This cruise is a Halloween of the High Seas cruise and everyone has gathered for the lighting of the Halloween tree. Devil's Bay, we hiked through a series of boulders and caves. This was a highlight of this excursion. Our second dining rotation is at Animator's Palette. The first night features an interactive show where Crush the Turtle from Finding Nemo interacts with guests. And on the second night, we become animators and watch our drawings come to life. I'll be back later, but right now, we invite you to sit back and relax as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. because we're on a Disney cruise. I've got a little English muffin with a poached egg and some hollandaise, a hash brown, a little bit of bacon, a little bit of mushroom, a little bit of spinach and some fruit to make me feel like I'm being healthy today. Delicious. What do you get every time we go out for breakfast? Amazing. Cereal. Every time. Looks good. dining 
is at Enchanted Garden. Tonight's theme was Halloween, so you'll see some interestingly themed desserts. Welcome to St. Thomas. A lot of opportunities for character interaction on a Disney cruise, both planned and unplanned. This is a pop up character dance party. Well, we are backing into. Disney's Island Castaway Key. Uh, it's always bittersweet to arrive at Castaway Key because one, it is beautiful, amazing. It's exclusive to Disney Cruises and it's a beautiful day in the sun and the sand, but it also means that our cruise is about to end. So uh, mixed feelings, but it's always an absolute delight to pull in. onto the island, uh, Castaway Key. You can see the Disney Fantasy uh, behind me. Um, about 11 o'clock, which was um, the estimated time of arrival after we were delayed overnight. Um, you can see from behind me, the beach is in full swing of activity with people swimming and snorkeling and floating. You might hear the lifeguard behind me. Um, giving some instructions to the snorkelers. Um, we're just sitting on the beach at the moment, enjoying a drink. George has been in the hammock and has had a lovely relaxing time doing that. Um, lunch is from, I think, 11.30 to two. So we're gonna do a snorkel around um, the guided area and see if we can see some of those underwater statues before we go and have lunch at the Cookies Barbecue.
day has come to an end. We are back on the Disney Fantasy after our day in Castaway Key, where we had a really wonderful day enjoying the sun and some snorkeling and just uh, relaxing. We went down the water slides, which were fun, and had a delicious barbecue lunch on the island. So now um, it's time to come and pack our things because our bags need to be outside of our room by 10 30 tonight um, we have our luggage tags the tinkerbell tags to pop on our luggage so we know where to collect them when we pass through customs tomorrow so now it's time to shower pack and get ready for our last dinner tonight at royal court on our seven day Eastern Caribbean Disney cruise on the Fantasy. Uh, we arrived this morning to port. Our alarm went off at 6.30 and we were already uh, docked back at Port Canaveral. And you can see behind me the buses that are lined up ready to take people uh, back to Orlando Airport or maybe to a Disney resort. Um, we've had a wonderful time. Uh, it went way too quickly, it's um, been lovely, it's been relaxing and now we are off to the airport, um, off to Orlando Airport uh, to fly to Los Angeles for a last leg of our holiday which is a few days at Disneyland.